Hey guys, Cindy Oda here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Um, this is something new. It's an adventure that I'm going to try. And that is, I'm going to try to vlog uh, my daily pain management. Um, the reason I'm doing, sorry that was pucky. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I have a lot of people asking me how I get as much done as I do. Okay, And I can tell you the simple answer, pain management. Real simple, right? No, it's not. Um, just to give you a little bit of background for anybody that knew that's watching, it, um, about seven years ago, I had an accident at work. Um, I I was on the floor, and I retch over, and I picked up a 60-pound router. And when I did, um, my 3, 4, and 5 blew. Uh, my L3, 4, and 5, which is my lower back. Um because it was at work, we had to do the whole workers' comp thing. It took 14 months for my surgery to be approved. Once my surgery was approved, they went in. Um, they did the best they could, but I am now have uh, permanent uh, nerve damage in my left leg. Um, my left leg always feels like it's dead. Uh, it doesn't... There's, there's no feeling. It, the only feeling I get is pain. Uh, a lot of pain. I get a lot of pain in my back. I get a lot of pain in my hips. Um, sometimes it goes down to the bottoms of my feet. Okay. So that's one thing that I'm dealing with. On top of that, I also have fibromyalgia and that was brought on by living in that chronic pain. Um, I did not have it prior. I do have it now. And let me tell you, those flares are vicious. So just so you're aware, you're going to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, I'm not going to hide anything from you guys. If it's too much, I apologize. Then just turn me off and don't watch. Um, I'm going to let you know how my days go. And I'll start out with this morning. For example, this morning I got up. Um, I actually slept until about 8 o'clock, which was really nice. And uh, because when I get sleep, when I can get sleep, I try to sleep as much as I can. Because there's a lot of nights that I don't get sleep. So um, I got up about 8 right somewhere around eight or so this morning um up and showered and dressed and I said to my hubby I said you know I feel pretty good let's let's go to Walmart um so I went to Walmart um I they didn't have any of the rideable carts available and we did not have the wheelchair in the truck so I walked it and when I walk, the more I walk, the worse my back gets and the worse my leg gets. And what will happen is my leg will just completely collapse. It, it just gives out on me. I don't have any forewarning. I go to take a step and boom, it's gone. So I have to use some type of a cart to lean on when I'm walking because I need that extra stability. Yes, I do have a cane. No, I did not use it. It wasn't in the truck. So, um... You know, these are some of the little, um, I'm not sure what you want to call them. They're the little humps in the road that you have to work through, right? So um, I did my Walmart thing, came home, ate lunch, and I told Jeff, I said, um, I'm going to try to go in my art room, but my legs are throbbing, which I kind of expected. So um, I did. I ate my lunch. I went into the art room for a few minutes. I sat down in my chair, looked around, and it, it wasn't happening. Um, and it's not because I don't want art. I do. I want to play and I want to have fun, but I can't right now. So what that means to me is, okay, it's a pain day, which means I'm on the couch. So when I'm on the couch, you're going to see all this stuff in the background. Yes, we have nasty, whoops, nasty paneling. Um, see right there still uh next it's going to be redone is my kitchen so we're in the process this is a new home we've been in for about a year um so yeah i'm going to give you the good bad and ugly uh i'll be stopping in periodically um i hope to do something at least daily to let you know what's going on you know um right now i am on the couch i'm couch bound so i'm gonna hang out here here comes my puppy you guys will get to meet her come here puck this is daisy AKA Pucky. She's mama's girl. Um, but I, you know, I wanna I want to be able to share with you how I manage these days so that maybe you um can take a tip or two and learn how to manage your days. It's not easy. It is not easy. I am not gonna sit here and say, oh, it's great, you know, just take a couch day. It doesn't work like that. Um, and I'm hoping with these videos that 
if you have someone in your family that doesn't understand um, and they listen to you say these things over and over again, like, oh, my legs hurt, oh, my back hurts, oh, my hips burn, you know, oh my gosh, the middle of my foot, bottom of my foot, I can't touch. It feels like there's spikes going in it. Um, all of this stuff, I know that, number one, they get tired of hearing, okay? We all know that. Number two is it's difficult for them to understand it when they only hear it coming from you. So maybe if you have somebody that is a loved one or that doesn't understand, you know, let them watch my videos. Um, I will help as much as I can and that is the whole purpose of me doing these videos is I want to be able to help you understand how to take care of those pain days, okay? How to um, manage and how to be happier in your life even though you're in chronic pain, all right? So that's my short introduction. Uh, I will be getting vlogs out. I'm not going to put one out daily because that's a lot of responsibility on me. But what I'm going to do is I plan on uh, recording throughout the week and then just doing like a weekly vlog. If it gets a really bad week, it may be every other week vlog. But um, I'm going to keep it real. So I hope you guys, that was a nice little tail flash, wasn't it? I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I'm on the couch, which means I'm going to sit here and play. Actually, I'll show you. This is my little play kit for the couch. Um, I have my personal journals. I have scribble sticks. I have all kinds of stuff, scrap papers, um, die cuts, and of course a little puppy head. Um, and I have everything I need to sit here and art on the couch. So while I'm doing this today, um, I'll also turn on um, Netflix or something like that just for some background noise. Uh, maybe I'll put on NCIS or I don't know, one of those. And we'll just sit here and hang out for the day because that's what I can do right now. Um, again, I'm Cindy Utter. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And you will he be hearing more from me soon. Take care. Gentle hugs. Bye. Good morning, guys. It's uh, March 2nd, Saturday morning. And, yeah. Um, I had a really rough night last night. Um, a lot of problems with my hips. A lot of problems with my legs. Um, aching, burning, throbbing. Um, I couldn't get comfortable. So it was a long night. Um, however, I'm up and I took what I call my sponge bath <laughs> um, because I just don't have the energy or the strength in my legs to get into the shower. So I'm in my art room. Um, I just got my got a gigantic cup of coffee. I don't know if you can see it right here. This is my big mug. Anyways, um, I've got my coffee. I've got my medication I need to take. And um, honestly, today's going to be kind of a low-key day. I am going to try to finish up. Um, I have a video I'm in the process of for uh, Bulky Ben. I'm going to try to finish that up, but no guarantees. Um, today's going to be a rough one. I'm in a lot of pain. Um... It's okay. I mean, it is what it is. I walked around Walmart yesterday, you know. And it's funny because we've even made the adjustment that my husband will drop me off at one end of Walmart, like say the, the home goods part, and then I'll just walk kind of like a U and we'll come out the, pro the grocery portion of Walmart. And it helps <laughs> because I'm not walking the whole length of it. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, but does it make it all better no but it helps so you know that's one of the things that we do to try to help me manage the pain um, today like I said I'm gonna sit here for a little while in my art room I've got some stuff to do um, see what I can get done um, and then after that most likely it's gonna be ice and um, ibuprofens whatever I can find to get in my system to try to help it calm down a little bit. Uh, right now I'm rocking a couple pain patches. Um, all they are is lidocaine. It, it kind of numbs the pain if that makes sense. Um, it does not help with the whole leg throb thing but it does um, help with my, my touch pain on my lower back. So that's it for right now. I will be back maybe later on this afternoon and let you know how we're going. All right we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, so I said I was going to keep it real, right? The down and dirty as, long, as well as the up and good. Well, um, 
I spent some time in my art room this morning. I'm hurting. <laughs> but you know what? It's all good. I, I get it. I totally get it. So what I'm doing now is, of course, this is my stationary background for when I'm on the couch. Um, I am on the couch. I brought out a couple things. I brought out my tins, right here, my tin of thinlets. And I just bought these strips of magnetic tape. So what I'm going to try to do is I've got this heavier cardstock here. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to try to cut them down and put them in an album in this type of page. Ouch. See? And this is an album my sweet dear friend Gina sent um, quite a while ago. She was doing a de-stash to get rid of stuff, and, and uh, I just absolutely fell in love with it. So it's just a cover that's on this notebook. See, it can be removed and put a new one in, but I'm going to use the one that's in here. And I'm going to see if I put the magnetic tape on this, if they'll stay in the sleeves in this binder. So um, when I do come out to the couch like this, and I know it's early in the day because it's only like 20 after 1 here, I always try to make sure I have something to do but not something that requires a lot of thought. Um, something that doesn't require a lot of pieces. I mean, I simply have one, two, three, four pieces of equipment that I need to do the job. Five. Sorry, I forgot the tape. Um, but anyways, that's, that's where I'm at right now. Um, my legs are really, really numb, but they're also, um, throbbing really bad and they burn really bad. My hips are burning. My back is just, it's normal, ratched up probably a point so I'm gonna say I'm about an eight or so pain scale with that um, but I again I've been doing this for seven years so I'm used to it I have to take the good the bad and the ugly and you know what it's okay my lower half of my body right now is having the ugly but there's nothing I can do about it so I'm doing the best I can which is sitting my butt on the couch that seems to be the best for me the more I get up and walk around or the more I sit in a chair the more it hurts so I'm doing what I can. It's all good. I already discussed dinner with the hubs and it's going to be Mexican tonight for dinner because I am not cooking anything. And I'm so lucky he's he's good with that. He has no issues. Um, if I decided, uh, you know, hey, let's just do bagels and, you know, cream cheese. He's good with that also. So very lucky that way. But just checking in. I will chat with you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. It is... I don't know, March 3rd. Um, it's about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. And come here. I just went and got my oatmeal made. Hucky wants to come visit. Uh, actually, she just wants the oatmeal. But anyways, um, yeah, yesterday uh, things went pretty well. I, um, I knew when to stop when I was in my room. And it was great because... I feel pretty good today. Um, so one of the, the things that I want to make everybody aware of and have you understand is when you start feeling not good, whether it be a lot of pain, um, a headache coming on, your muscles are starting to hurt, or you lose complete energy, which is what happened to me yesterday afternoon. I had absolutely no energy, none. I, I felt like a couch potato because I was just, I couldn't do anything. I was, that's part fibro. Um, so anyways, when you start feeling that way, stop what you're doing, okay? I don't care if you're doing dishes, stop. Go rest. When you're up to it, go back to it. I know one of the things that I learned um, how not to do is push myself through whatever I was doing. So, for example, yesterday I came in, I was doing actually some videos. Um, I was working on a video for Bulky Ben. I was right in the middle of the video, and it just got to the point where I couldn't do it anymore. I had to stop. So, um, by doing that, I can finish my video this morning. Um, we're actually in the process of um, loading up the RV again. Uh, so, I think we're going to be taking a road trip here in a bit and just taking some time off. Um, that's one of the reasons we actually bought the RV is because um, I can travel easier in it. Uh, if I need to get up and walk around, I can. Yes, it's not safe, but you know what? We do what we have to do. 
Um, if I need to go lay down, I can just go lay down. I don't have to worry about, you know, trying to put a seat and get in a comfortable position and blah, blah, blah. I just go lay on the bed. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in this morning. I'm doing pretty good today. I'm having a lot of pain between my shoulder blades, which whatever, it is what it is. It's not going away. Um, I'm not worrying about it. Uh, I plan on hanging out here, doing maybe a little bit of video. And then, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but at noon, um, Eastern Standard Time, there is a channel called Intervals of Sanity. And it's myself and five other friends. And we get on there. And a lot of it, we just chat. But we laugh and we have fun. And some days we'll actually have a topic that we'll stick to. Um, it is not specifically art related. It's just... Us ladies getting together, having a great conversation, and having fun. So if you feel like tuning in today, um, we will be there at, at noon Eastern Standard. So if you live on the West Coast, that's like 9 a.m. on the West Coast, like out in California. So um, yeah, definitely check us out. We're going to be hanging out today. Um, my puppy's going to be with me. And that's about it for this morning. I'm doing all right. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. Boy, I look like crap, don't I? I actually showered. <laughs> I look awful. Anyways, um, I was checking in for a minute because uh, we are actually... Say hi. Say good morning. Hi, good morning! Okay, he's nuts. Yeah, I know. Um, we are actually in the RV and we plan on just doing some jaunts going around somewhere. I don't know where we're going. South, I think. And... Um, just to give you an idea what's going on pain-wise, uh, last night, not much sleep. I'd say about five hours. Um, I am rocking right now two uh, pain patches, which are ones on my upper back and ones on my lower spine. And we're going to see how this goes. Um, one of the reasons that we actually purchased the RV was uh, due to the fact that I can't travel for long periods of time in a car because I can't sit that long. So now I just um, I have the ability to go lay down or get up and walk around whatever I need to do so I just wanted to check in real quick I will check in later on today when we get uh, where we're going all right take care guys hey guys um, my last check-in for today uh, we are at our campground um, and it's a beautiful campground it's not too far outside of Charleston and um, yeah, we're just, we're here for the night. Um, Pucky and Daddy are out going for a walk because Pucky is just crazy with energy. Um, myself, <laughs> not so much. I'm hurting. Um, my neck and shoulders are hurting really bad. So um, as soon as Jeff gets back, I'm going to have him. I've, I bought this new, um, like a numbing cream. Uh, where'd I get it? I found it in Walmart and it was like 10 bucks for this roll on bottle. So I'm going to put that, have him put that all over the middle of my back and up around my shoulders and neck and see if that helps at all. Um, other than that, the rest of my night pretty much will be in this position. Um, uh, my lower back is screaming. Both legs are throbbing. You know, it is what it is. I, this is the the consequences of wanting to go somewhere, wanting to travel, wanting to be away from home, and just wanting to get out of Dodge and enjoy myself. So yeah, I'm hurting today. Like I said, we're resting for the rest of the night. Um, we'll see how I feel in the morning. Uh, we may hang out here all day tomorrow, depending on how I feel. We may um, just unhook and run to the end of town. We have a small RV. Um, it's the one that has, um, it's not a Class A, it's a Class C, if you know anything about RVs. Class A is the bus. We had one of those. Uh, but it was really difficult every time we wanted to stop in town somewhere. There's nowhere to park those. So we decided to go with a Class C, which, um, here, actually, I'll show you if I can turn you around. Let's see. It won't let me turn you around. Okay, sorry. Um, I'll go this way. This is our class C. And so the we drive up there. And then the the rest of it is just um, our camping area. So 
so yeah it's uh just a chill out kind of night um i made a list we stopped at the grocery store hubs went in got all the groceries and like, like i said right now they're out going for a walk i'm just gonna chill out here probably read for a little while and wait for them to get home so it's been a good day um as good as it can get let's put it that way like I said, I'm hurting. If I had to do a pain scale right now, I'd say I'm about a seven and a half to an eight. But I live um, daily in a seven pain scale. So, you know, it's just elevated a little bit more for me right now. That's why I say seven and a half to an eight. Um, if we would kept going, doing things, and then not come in until like nine or ten o'clock tonight, then yeah, I'd be like ten plus and over. But, you know, we know what we have to do. I have to stop. We have to take a rest. And that's just the way it is. So I hope you guys have all had a great day. Um, please leave some comments. Let me know if this is helping anybody at all. Um, I know it's, it's interesting to me um, keeping track of my daily pain because I normally just, um, I, you know, I normally just figure it's pain. So I will let you guys know. And I will talk tomorrow. And like I said, hope everybody had a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys, good morning. Um, yeah, it's, well, is it noon yet? It's almost, uh, it's close to noon. Anyways, um, we had a great night last night. It was so quiet in that um, campground that we actually decided to stay there another three nights. So um, right now we're just hanging out in... Somerville, I think it is. Correct. And we're going to go find some antique shops. We just stopped at this deli. It was a, um, I don't remember the name of it. it Charleston something Charleston something Plain deli and bakery. Oh my God, it was delicious. And I got this great big piece of tiramisu for later on. Yay! It's in the fridge. But anyways, um, pain wise, I'm doing okay. Um, right now my lower back is what's really screaming. My legs are kind of thumping. My upper back, thankfully today feels much better. My shoulders and my neck are okay. So I'm looking forward to going and getting some antiques and well, getting some antiques knowing me, who knows what we'll find. Um, and we're just going to wander around today and then head back to the campground. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'll check in later. Bye. Hey guys, my last check-in for today. Um, we, it's, I don't know. I don't even know what time it is. I'm guessing four. I don't know. Three thirty, four o'clock. Um, we're back from antiquing and we had a blast. We hit three different antique centers. Um, but it was really nice because I actually had time in between to, um, just relax and hang out in the camper and just chill out for a while. I want to show you, I'm not going to show you everything, but I didn't really buy that much but I thought, thought some cute things I bought this little guy um, it says Charleston South Carolina on it and what I want to do is I want to take him home and paint him to look just like Pucky so that was kind of cool I don't even know how much he was like $2.99 then in the same antique store I found these there's one brand new here's two brand new and here's three brand new and I thought these would be really cool to make cards with so and they were two dollars each so I picked those up and then this other thing that I picked up it's so funny it looks like hell right now but um, I'm gonna take it of course take it home and redo it hold on and I'll show you hold on okay so Sorry about that. I hope I didn't make you sick. This thing is an actual stand that sits on your counter. And these come out so you can put your own recipe cards in them. And then when you want a certain recipe, you just flip the tags up. Um, oh, it was like 10 bucks. And I've, Jeff, it was so funny because I told Jeff, I said, I'm going to get that. He goes, you know how long you've looked at those and wanted one for on the counter? He says, I think it's about time. So yeah, um, I'm going to take it home and of course, you know, paint it up and make it look pretty. It's going to be teal, of course, um, and then put some new recipe cards in it. And I think it's going to be a really cool addition to my counter in the house. So 
Um, what else is going on? Pain level. Um, my legs are really, really sore. Um, I can't do any more walking today. So that's why I'm hanging out in the RV. I don't know where puppy went. Um, <laughs> she's up under the front curtain looking out the window. She's so funny. Um, yeah, so it was pretty good. I used my cane, um, in two of the three antique shops. The one was really small, so I didn't take my cane in. Um, shh, hey, hey. And she see there's kids and um, other dogs here right now, so she's getting really excited about those. Um, anyways, I use my cane in two of the three shops, which really helped. Um, I am rocking pain patches tonight. When Jeff gets back home, he just went for a walk. He's like, "I'm gonna go see if I can find you something." I'm like, "Okay, whatever." So he went for a walk. I don't even know where he went. Um, but when he gets back, I'm gonna have him icy hot down my whole back and. I'm just going to rest the rest of the night. I'm not going to do much of anything. Um, hang out and just chill. Enjoy being in the camper. So I hope you guys had a beautiful day. And hopefully everything will go well and I'll be good to go tomorrow morning. So have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Good morning everybody. Um, it is around 9 o'clock or so. And we are up, showered. I slept really well last night. Um, Pucky's here with me. She's ready to what travel. About me? Oh goodness. Hub, say good, good morning. morning everybody. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's see. Pain level when I first woke up was really good. Um, then of course, you know, you get up and move around and I've got quite a bit of burning in my uh, upper back. And then I have um, my normal thunking, throbbing type thing in my lower back and then down my left leg. So we, our adventure today is we're actually going to go to a place called Fletcher's Finds. I guess it's a, like out in the boondocks here in South Carolina. So that's what we decided we wanted to do. Um, I guess it's about 40 minutes from here, which is, that's fine. You know, like I said, I can always get up and go in the back and lay down. Um, it's in Yahtzee. Yeah, yes, yeah, Yesemi. Yeah, I don't know. It's a really funky name, but um, Yesemi, uh, South Carolina. GPS right now. Okay. So I just wanted to check in, let you guys know what was going on. Um, we had a just relaxing night last night. Once we got back, we had some dinner and just hung out, and that's what vacation is all about, right? So I hope you guys have a great day. I will check in later and. Say bye, Bucky. Woo -woo. Hey guys, Cindy out here. Um, this is my afternoon check-in for the seventh, which is Thursday afternoon. Uh, we are back at the campground. Um, after our trip to the beach this morning, we grabbed something to eat, and then we found this antique mall that was really, really cool. There was two floors to it. I could only do one um, because I'm not to the point where. My legs, my knees, my hips, and my back are just plain shot. Um, it's all good. We knew that this was going to happen. Um, but like Jeff said, and you know, him and I talked about it today, and at least I got to do things I really enjoy doing. I mean, we got to find that little hole in the wall restaurant, which was fabulous. Um, some beautiful scenery going out through there. It's, you know, like the old southern style, like you would see in the movies with the. Um, the plantations and the those trees that overhang the roads with that I, I it's a disease I'm not sure what it's called but you know that stuff hanging Spanish moss or whatever hanging off it and it was just we've had a great time um Pucky's had a great time <laughs> she's so funny she thinks she's a beast until she sees a dog about eight times bigger than her but um we've had a really good time in the last antique store that they were in, they had a black and tan um, King Charles, and she was so sweet. She was three years old, and she was just adorable, and they said she is a wonderful dog. So, And everybody here on the campground, you know, comes over and says hi to her, and she's a little bit spoiled. But anyways, um, chronic pain-wise, my legs, my knees, my hips, my back, my spine, and my neck are killing me. So, I am actually laying on my bed. This is just a sleeping bag I put over me. Um, but I'm laying on my bed, and I'm going to stay here for a while. 
see if I can get things to ease off a little bit. You know, I do have a couple of pain patches on and I've taken more ibuprofen and I wish I could take something stronger, but I don't have anything stronger at this point. So it is what it is. I just wanted to check in and tell you guys to all have a wonderful evening and I will chat again tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey guys, do I look like a bumble? I feel like a bumble. Where, guess where we're at? We're at the beach. Oops. Yeah, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it or not because all I get is glare. Um, it's cold, but I found some goodies. So say hi. Where'd you go? Hi everybody. How you doing? We're on Folly Beach. Carolina. And Pucky's having a blast. Pucky's running around like a banshee, eating everything off the beach. Shells, <laughs> shells iguanas, everything. <laughs> iguanas. <laughs> so, I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know. Um, last night, about 7.30 or 7 o'clock, I told Jeff, I said, I'm exhausted. So, I went and laid down on my bunk. And I was out like a light until 7.30 this morning. So... Yeah, I'm really tired. Um, today we're just kind of walking at the beach a little bit. We might hit an antique shop on the way back down to the campground. Um, tomorrow morning we're going to leave and head toward home. I don't know if we'll end up staying somewhere or not. Who knows? But chronic pain wise, um, I'm rocking a couple patches. Um, I've taken some ibuprofen. Uh, we found this new roll on stuff. I think, I'm not sure, Lisa, I think Lisa Denham was talking about it. But last night, um, we put it all over the top of my neck and my shoulders, and, and it feels okay today, but I'm really, really sore. So, it feels to me like things are catching up with my body. Um, it's okay. We'll figure it out. And <laughs> I love my little hoods. I have like a, a shirt on, and then another sweatshirt, then another sweatshirt, and then Jeff, Jeff's winter coat. So, yeah, I'm a cold, frozen person. But anyways... I wanted to check in, and we will chat with you guys when I get back in a warmer weather. Chat soon. Hey guys, good morning. It's uh, March 8th, about 20 after 8 in the morning. Um, we are headed home today. Um, I had a really rough night last night, not a lot of sleep, and my body's done. <laughs> so, it's all good. It's all good. We've had um, five days of a lot of fun four days. I don't know. Whatever. We've had a lot of fun and Jeff and I enjoy doing this anyways. We like to go away for a few days, um, do some antiquing and then head back home. Um, you know, we're kind of like most artists, at least I am, uh, preferring to stay home rather than go out. But, you know, we've had a good time. We've done, a lot, you know, a lot of things that we wanted to, and there's still some that we'd like to do more of. Um, sorry, but we're just taking off. I gotta get my seatbelt on, honey. Um, so yeah, we're headed home, and I will check in with you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll chat in a bit. Bye. Hey, everybody. Um, we're home. Yay! It's um, quarter to three. Uh, we stopped, and we had to um, let Pucky see. Here she is. Let Pucky see Grandma and Grandpa and pick up her mail. And we're back home. We were sitting here talking about it a few minutes ago, and we just, we had a blast. We really loved it. Um, but now for the next um, couple days at least, I'm going to be here pretty much grounded. Um, both staying off my feet and um, trying to get some of the pain under control. I'm having a lot of pain in my hips, um, a lot of pain in my legs. My feet are killing me. Hey guys, so um, I didn't get to check in last night and I didn't have a chance to do it this morning. Um, we're back home. We got home uh, four-ish last night, yesterday afternoon. And um, Jeff unloaded the camper, brought it all in. I, you know, put stuff away that I could. The heavy stuff like the suitcases he had to put away. Um, but overall, my trip was good. Um, however, this is day one back at home and I've had to do some pain management today. Um, 
I'm having, my body is sore. My entire body is sore. My neck is really sore. My shoulders are really sore. All of my joints. Now, I don't know if that's a fibro, um, a fibro flare or if it's my rheumatoid arthritis or just from being on my feet and traveling and, and doing the things we did. Um, so today has been a pretty low key day. I haven't really done anything. Um, hung out here at my desk, you know, did some organizing a little bit, putting some stuff away and just really listening to what my body's telling me I need to do. And right now it's telling me just chill out. So that's what I've been doing. Um, now I am going to keep doing these vlogs as long as you guys want to hear them or want to see them. And when I do them, I think when I'm having low days where not a whole lot's going on in my life or, you know, a whole lot of information, not for the vlog, I'm going to talk about um, different aspects of the chronic pain, um, starting from the beginning, you know, what it's like to have a full-time job, a full-time career, you know, I had 23 years in the company and, you know, all of a sudden, boom, I'm no longer working. So I'm going to talk about how you get through that, how you can mentally adjust to that change, that sort of stuff. And I, I think it'll help a lot of people, especially if you're new to this. Um, this meaning if you're new to the chronic pain. I know when I first got hurt, I had nobody to talk to. Nobody. I didn't, at that point, I didn't even really do anything with YouTube. It was not something in my vocabulary because I didn't have time. I was either working or I was sleeping or, you know, trying to keep my house together or working. I spent so much time on the road. So I've learned a lot and I want to share with you guys what I've learned um, from the accident and maybe I can help somebody. Maybe it happened to you three years ago and you're still in that floundering stage and that floundering stage will stay there for a while. You don't just snap out of it. It's not something that just goes away. So anyways, I wanted to let you guys know that we're home. All's good. Um, tomorrow we're going to be doing our live with Intervals of, San of Sanity. Um, that's at noon Eastern time until 1.30 Eastern time. And tomorrow, depending on how my body is, I'll either chill out for the day, you know, do my, you know, live and then just hang out. Or, you know, I may be able to get up and start doing some stuff, doing some art, getting some laundry done, that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to check in, let you guys know, yes, we're home. We made it home safe and sound. Um, we were both exhausted last night and in bed by nine o'clock. <laughs> it was, you know, it was a good trip, but it was a long trip too. So I hope you guys all had a wonderful day today and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.